Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create WooCommerce automation using a free tool. It is not only for the WooCommerce, you can integrate many different apps in a single dashboard. Here you can see the list of apps that you can integrate in a single dashboard. You can integrate WordPress, you can integrate Carflows, Elementor Pro, BB Builder, Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive, LearnDash, LearnPress, LinkedIn, MailChimp, MailPoet, PayPal, Stripe, Surecard, sure Members, WooCommerce. Here you will see WooCommerce, WhatsApp, Zoom. You can connect all these apps in a single dashboard and you can make them communicate with each other. For example, you can integrate WordPress, WooCommerce, Twilio, Gmail, WhatsApp in a single dashboard and you can create a workflow between these apps. For example, someone make a purchase on your WooCommerce website, you will create a workflow that will send an instant email to the customer as well as it will send an instant SMS using Twilio. It is going to send a message on WhatsApp using the WhatsApp app. So there are hundreds of possibilities of workflows that you can create using this free tool. Right now the tool is free. The name of the tool is Showtiggers and you can see the pricing is zero. Right now it is available for free. You can try this on your WordPress website or you can try this on your WooCommerce website and you can start creating workflows. So let's see how we can use this free automation tool for WooCommerce. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here on this dummy website, I have WooCommerce installed and I'm going to integrate the WooCommerce in the show triggers. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for sure triggers. So this is the plugin sure triggers. Connect all your plugins, apps, tools and automate everything. Click on install now. Click on activate. First you will need to create an account and after that you will need to connect your website with the account. Let's click on get started now. Now it says authorize and continue. I have already created an account on showtriggers.com. So you just need to sign up. It is a very simple process and create your account on showtriggers.com. Let me show you. So this is the screen for the registration. If you do not have an account, you can simply click on create a new account. You can sign up using Google or you can create an account using your first name, last name, email address and it will be created. So here I'm going to connect my account with the website. So I'm going to click on authorize and continue. So here you can see the dashboard of the show triggers account. If I go directly to the account, I can see the same dashboard here. Workflows, history, apps. We need to connect the apps. So what I'm going to do here on the WordPress website itself, I'm going to click on apps. And here you can see the WordPress WooCommerce are already connected automatically. Now, if you want to integrate any other app, you can simply search for the app. And from here, let's see if I want to connect the Gmail. So I'm going to click on Gmail. And from here, I'm going to select one of my Gmail account. And I'm going to link the Gmail account with this show triggers. Let's go to advanced and go to show triggers. All right, and click on continue. So I'm going to link the Gmail account also. All right, so I have got two apps linked. So I'm going to create a workflow now. So click on workflows. And I'm going to click on create new WooCommerce order list. This is the name of the workflow that I'm going to create. Click on start building. Click on add trigger. Search for WooCommerce. And select event. So from here, you will see the list of events such as product is purchased, variable product with variation purchased, product added to cart, order created, product reviewed, product viewed. Let's go for the order purchased. So select this one and select the condition. So here you will see different conditions. This is the name of the website. So I have linked this website. So that's why it shows the connection is this website. If you are using the same Sure Triggers account on different 
WordPress website, then you will see the list of WordPress website here under connections. Right now we have only one website listed. So it shows that website only. Now select the product. Let's say any product. So I'm going to create this workflow for any product purchase. Test connections and data. Click on fetch data. So this data will be fetched when someone creates an order. All right, good. Now let's click on save. What action do you want to perform once someone purchase a product from your website? So I want to click on the plus sign and let's add some delay here. Delay of wait set amount of time. So I'm going to select the time. And let's say one minute. From here select minute. So it will be one minute. So I have added a delay of one minute here. Click save. So this is the action. And after one minute, I want to send an email. So I'm going to select, let's say I have connected Gmail. So I'm going to select Gmail. And here you will see the option send email. This is the one action that we can do. Select connection. This is the account that I have linked. And two, under two, we need to add the email of the user. So here search for email. And here you will see the email of the buyer. So I'm going to select the email. If you want CC, you can add CC, BCC. From email, this will be your email address. From name, this will be your name, your company name. Reply to, it's not necessary, mandatory. Thanks for your purchase. When someone makes a purchase on your WooCommerce website, WooCommerce itself is going to send an email with the order details. But now I want to send another email and I want to make some offers. I want to send an email to the customer with different products or with different orders. Then in that case, I can use the show achievers to create different types of email. If I link Twilio, then I can also send SMS directly to the customer using Twilio. If I link WhatsApp, then I can send the message on the WhatsApp. This tool is going to integrate many apps in a single dashboard and they're going to communicate with each other. So I'm going to create some dummy email here. You can also link the MailChimp email marketing tool and you can gather this information and you can start sending them email using the MailChimp. Here, I'm going to use the Gmail app to send some emails to the customer. Label mailbox. So it is going to show me some labels from the mailbox. And I'm going to use, let's say, important. Whatever label you want, you can send it from there. Attachment. If you have any attachment, you can add the attachment and click save. All right. Now, after that, if you want to perform another action, you can simply click on the plus sign. You can add delay and you can connect your other app and you can create automation for these apps also so here once someone make a purchase on your website it is going to wait for one minute and after one minute it is going to send an email to the customer so this is how you can create woocommerce automation using the free tool it is not only for the woocommerce you can integrate many different apps in the single dashboard and you can make them communicate with each other that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.